DJI Mavic Mini. Return to home and precision landing explained. Got that coming up next. In my most recent video, I performed five return to home tests using the DJI Mavic Mini. Unfortunately, they were all off the mark, some by considerable margin, and a couple of them I had to cancel as it was going to land in an undesirable area. What I thought I would do would be to go through return to home and precision landing in some detail so we can all understand what is considered a successful return to home and a successful precision landing. Now let's go ahead and look at return to home first. Now the following is from Drone Pro Skills, Return to Home Mode, The Complete Guide, and I'll post a link in the description. What is Return to Home or Return to Home Mode? Return to Home is a fail-safe function for drones, which is used for flying back the aircraft to the last recorded home point automatically. Types of Return to Home. Return to Home triggered when the aircraft reaches critical low battery level, known as low battery return to home for DJI. Return to home triggered when the aircraft lost its, lost its connection with a controller, known as fail-safe return to home for DJI. Return to home triggered manually, known as smart return to home for DJI. Process of return to home. After you press the return to home button, the following sequence of actions occur. Drone's processor or its intelligence system will detect your return to home command. Drone will ascend to return to home altitude. Drone will adjust its nose towards the home point. Drone will fly towards the home point. Drone will land when within the home point radius. Varies per manufacturer, could be 10 to 20 meters. Note that the return to home uses GPS to locate the home point radius. It's my strong suspicion this is what the Mavic Mini is using and why it's so far off the mark when landing. How to cancel return to home function. On the DJI Fly app, press the X button. Number two, press the throttle up quickly. Now let's watch an example of a return to home with a Mavic Mini. Notice how the home point notifies you at takeoff and how I canceled the return to home function and landed manually. This is important to know in case your Mavic Mini may be landing in an undesirable area. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. The app really makes sure that you hold your finger on that as you uh, have made that decision. So, just a pitch of the gimbal here and take a look and see what we got. And uh, I think we're going to be off the mark here. Okay, we were going to be off the mark here. So I'm going to go ahead and fly forward. We're going to go ahead and land. Let's get the Mavic Mini over to the pad. So test one failed. Let's go ahead and reorient the aircraft here. a slight very 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 slight breeze today not really anything to speak of okay test number one ended it was I would say estimate probably about a foot and a half to two feet off the path precision landing the following is from DJI drone news and the article is entitled how to use precision landing with a Mavic 2 Pro in zoom in order for the drone to be able to precisely land, you'll need to do the following. 1. Fly during the day when there is sufficient light. The Mavic will not be able to record the takeoff point if the ground is not sufficiently lit. This means you'll need to fly during the day or in a location that has bright lighting, like a baseball stadium. 
Two, choose a takeoff spot that has distinctive features. When the Mavic returns home, it will need some type of landmarks on the ground to use as a reference point. If taking off from a location that has a large span of, of uniform ground, like a large grassy field, you'll need to lay some kind of marker on the ground beneath the Mavic. You can use something like a 3x3 piece of bright, brightly colored plexiglass or a landing pad. Number three, make sure the terrain does not change after taking off. When the Mavic returns home to land, it will attempt to match up precisely the recorded terrain to the current terrain. Any significant changes in the terrain could reduce the accuracy of the landing. Number four, wait for the home point to be set. If the Mavic has a good GPS signal, the home point should be automatically marked after the rotors have started. Check the map in the DJI GO 4 app to ensure that the H symbol is marked in the correct location. Number five, ascend straight up when taking off. When taking off, it's important to ascend straight up above the home point for at least 23 feet, 7 meters, before moving the Mavic in any direction horizontally. This will allow the Mavic to properly record the takeoff location. There is no need to hover in place after the Mavic has ascended to at least 23 feet. The takeoff point has already been recorded at this point. Landing Procedure Precision landing is only used when return to home is initiated and the Mavic automatically returns home and lands. This can occur if you manually initiate return to home by holding the return to home button on the remote controller until the remote controller starts beeping or the Mavic automatically returns home to a low battery or lost remote controller signal. This also can be activated from the DJI GO 4 app as well. After the Mavic returns back to the home point, it will correct its heading, point in the direction it took off, and begin descending. In most cases, the Mavic will be too high in the air for the downward sensors to detect the ground below. Until the downward sensors are within range of the ground, the Mavic will, not, like, will likely not be descending directly over the takeoff spot. As you watch the Mavic descend, locating landing point message will pop up on the left side of DJI GO 4 app, and you'll see the Mavic correct its position as needed. It will do further corrections if necessary when it gets even closer to the ground. And if all works as designed, it should end up landing within about 6 inches of the takeoff spot. Remember that Return to Home uses GPS to get your drone within the home point radius. Precision landing uses what some refer to as the vision positioning system, which records the takeoff point, and then when the drone gets within a certain distance, it will match the recorded takeoff point and land. Let's watch a video of the Mavic 2 using precision landing. An item of note is that nothing needs to be selected to initiate precision landing on the Mavic 2. Notice the home point message during takeoff and the message that comes up when it's looking at the landing point. Question of the day, do you think DJI will update the firmware on the Mavic Mini to include precision landing? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about the channel. Also be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry and anything DJI, Autel, or Parrot related. Also be sure to check out my Twitter account where I do post daily updates and Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.